Hitchcock once again. There's ice out here. Situations like this, really steep drop off on this side. We pull the truck too hard, whoever's in that vehicle will die. So what we have to do is be extremely careful, smart with our actions, and de deliberately make a plan on how to get this truck out. Right now we're trying to get this truck rotating all the way around. As you can see, that's not working so well for us. So what we're gonna do is continue to try, 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 persevere, and get these trucks off this mountain today. Man. Look at that. Oh, Eugene's buried good. Oh man. So a little bit of a recap on the situation. I know I've already explained. Yesterday, a group of four trucks decided to trek up the mountain severely underprepared. And what it ended up with is four trucks up, one up, trucks went up the mountain and one truck came down. I'm talking, these trucks are buried in the snow, deep, four feet deep snow. I mean, these are trucks are not coming out, but we're gonna get out there and we're gonna get them out. Take a look right here. This is my rig, little Silverado put a little bit of weight in the back of the truck. Help stabilize it, give ourselves a little bit of traction. See right here, we just put four sets of chains on all the tires, you know, ensure that we have traction all the whole way going up. So, but yeah, we're gonna take it real slow. We got a couple of safety utility vehicles that are on call. to be able to come up and get us if we get stuck as well. But we got electric winches, shovels, lots of material to be able to throw underneath the tires but these trucks are coming down. Absolutely, they are coming down. Going up the mountain, Phillips our driver here. Yes, I am. Beautiful. There's Mark's truck. Okay, you guys, we're going up. 
Job. Silverado. I like it. It's going like a tank. So we just currently dug out the holes on these trucks. As you can see, if we walk over here, we got fresh snow. Fresh snow, and underneath all this snow, ice. See that right there? That's hard ice. When these trucks drive through here, they're bottoming out, they're getting stuck. So we have been digging for the last three hours trying to get these uh, trucks out. Big problem that we're encountering, the snow's coming down so fast we can't keep up. So right now we got some reinforcements coming. They're gonna be helping us out, dig these trucks out. We're gonna get this first one out, the third, or the second one, and then we're gonna get, get the third one down the trail. We already got one truck stuck. You know, we would have to make some radio calls to get some support in, but we'll figure this out. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, we got one truck out. This guy wasn't too bad. Working on the next one. Give it gas. Keep going, you're good. Keep going, left a little bit. Attack, straight, straight. Very good, keep going, left a little bit. Медведя ищем, верлогу. Тут один маленький, он заснул. Говорят, это большой, если я там. Winds are starting to pick up. We we'll keep getting stuck. This point right here is where we're going to try to turn around. storm coming in you can see the mountain up there we got all the two trucks on stuck there's two more stuck down there we're coming down the mountain Nissan's getting getting stuck it's good progress Mark stop Right here, we're having immense trouble trying to get this truck out of the ditch just because of the weight. But right now we're adjusting these cables, trying to add a little bit more tension, get a little bit more leverage. But with this winch right here, 3,050 capacity winch, it's gonna pull this sucker right out. Keep 
Can you keep going backwards? Mark? Um, thank you. So, since he can't turn around, he's backing down the whole mountain. Alex, go that way, it would have been more. Yeah. down.